You don't look for somebody pretty because flesh is going back to dirt. You marry, so I tell people, you get married, take a lot of pictures on your wedding day because it's going downhill from that day. <laughs> Continental shifts are going to happen. Hair's going to start growing out of your ears. I mean, I took my son to the barber's first time because I cut his hair forever. So the first time he said, he's five, the first time he went to the barber shop. And I said, my barber's working on my ear. And he said, Dad, what's he doing? I said, well, son, he's cutting the hair out of my ears. You have hair in your ears? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got older and hair got tired. It wouldn't go all the way to the top. <laughs> I'll take one hair. Hey, shortcut, shortcut, daylight, daylight, shortcut. So hair goes out of my ears then. And it's true. <laughs> because you don't marry flesh. You marry somebody's soul. Do you love what I love? Do you fear God like I fear God? Do you enjoy what I enjoy? Because if you marry flesh, it's going stupid on you. Now I love my aunt. She was married seven times. I went to her funeral. Uh, you couldn't have recognized her because the lady standing next to her looked like Grandma Moses, and that was her daughter. This old, skanky lady who was standing there said, Who's that? We buried the wrong person. No, my aunt had so much plastic surgery, she still tied. <laughs> she, she'll never turn back to dust. She's just tied. <laughs> I mean, she pumped it and shoved it and shoved it up and stretched it. It's like, she'll never rock. <laughs> And you just wasted a lot of money and time because your flesh is going to go place. Well, why don't you fall in love? The greatest thing you'll ever do is fall in love with somebody. That's what you do when you're dating. What are you looking for? I want to spend the rest of my life with somebody. What do you want? I want somebody that fears God more than I do. I had two widows come up in New Orleans one time after a marriage seminar. And I said, Joe, we really love the seminar. We learned a lot. But I said, we want you to add something when you're looking for a spouse because we've lost our husbands, good men. But we get remarried. We're going to add something to our list. We want, we want a good looking man that loves us and whatever. But we want a man that loves God more than we do. We got tired of dragging our husbands to church, trying to pray for them all the time. We get married again. We're going to marry somebody who chases God faster than we are. And added it to the list. You want somebody that fears God. If you're with somebody that fears God, everything else will be fine. Because if they fear God, they'll serve you. But if they don't fear God, they want what they want when they want it. When do I get to choose? You don't. You got married. You're dead. Shut up. You're dead. You're married. Praise God. Welcome to life. So simple now. I got to share that. I was married for 12 years and I realized something. In my first marriage, I realized my wife's not going to change. She's not going to change. So she's washing dishes and we're in the kitchen and I just spoke up. I said, I just realized something. She said, what? I said, you're not going to change, are you? She turned and said, is that a revelation to you? <laughs> yes, it is. No, I'm not going to change. I said, well, praise God, that's going to free up a lot of time. I'll start working on me now because I've been working on you and it's, it's not working. <laughs> so you can only work on yourself. So start working on you, growing the things of God, Read a good book on marriage, matrimony, dating. Read a book about what it's like to have good friends. And start growing yourself. And you will attract what you become. You will attract what you become. <laughs>